I might just reload the level. Because I don't know if it if that has anything to do with it, but uh shouldn't be taking this long to do this. Come on, just get stuck in the edge. Do it. Maybe if I try to just do it where I fall through slightly. Oh, yep. Yeah, nope. So you start your your view starts to shake when you're doing it, and oh, there we go. Oh yeah, I do it. The, I don't know why it works better if you're against the wall. Even though I said that at the start there, it works a lot better. I was stuck in the edge there, but I wasn't far enough in. You have to be far enough in where you can't see this white area because you have to be um, past the uh, portal connection. So there you go, see, like that. That was very simple. Ugh, dumb. So I'm going to quick save right here, okay? And now what happens when I load, I'll be performing a save glitch. What the save glitch does is separates my body with my, um, with my uh, perspective. So normally, if um, if I would have looked up a minute ago, I, I could see my body kind of sticking out the top here, but you don't see it right now. Like it's not it's not there. You would see my like feet sticking out, and um, but now my perspective has uh, gotten stuck in the wall, and I'm going to shoot a portal. So that portal goes down right there. But what it allows me to do is because there is now a portal on the floor, I'm able to walk on the floor. But there is a portal not on this wall, so I'm able to walk through this wall. There's a lot more complication to it, but you'll see that uh, you can just fall out of the game. And there's lots of other things that can happen. Um, I should just be able to walk through certain walls and things. And um, What happens is if I hit if I hit that emancipation field, it gets rid of the portals. And um, then I'll, I'll not be doing the save glitch anymore. So... You have to save. You have to save and load the game while you're in an edge glitch like that, and then it does the save glitch. Um, depending on where you shoot the portal, like how I'm stuck right now, as you notice, it's disappearing. That's because I'm looking out the top of here, but I'm not actually there. I'm actually right here. It's it's really complicated. But um, so if I shoot a portal right there, like I just fall through the floor because I shot one against the wall and not on the floor. So I want to shoot one on the floor so I can stand on the floor. Now what I do is I come outside of the game level and I shoot a portal basically against the edge of the wall outside the level. So you'll see that I can shoot it right now like this. And so the portal is actually outside the level. See? So um, I actually made the portal closer to the wall in the video. I have to do that here. So I will reload, shoot down, come, come through, and put one right against the wall here. Okay. Why I need to do that is because I need to get a portal up on this wall so I can see the top of the elevator. Um, there's a couple reasons I'm doing that. This, uh, the, the method that I use here to be able to shoot a portal up there while staying in bounds is, uh, I call it a Pika portal. Um, basically, portals have a travel time. Uh, you shoot it and it takes time to get to that distance. So I shoot the portal and I duck back in so I'm in this portal and then the outside portal changes. So that's what peeking a portal is. I just peek out real quick and shoot a portal and come back in so that I don't I don't uh, get stuck outside the game cuz you know if I just shot this right now I would I would not have a portal to get back in. Um, there are versions of portal that you could fall continuously like I did there while I was in the save glitch, but if I just if I just jump out right now I don't, I don't fall. I get stuck in the world, actually. You just don't move at all. So, oops, I just saved. That is bad. Uh, let me load an auto save there. Auto save. I don't know where that auto saves. Oh, the start of the level. You are well, doing. That shouldn't be much well. harder to do that. Please be but, um, advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part uh, of any test protocol, but uh, is an unintended side effect like, oh, of the aperture like science the material there. emancipation um, grill, which yeah, may, in semi rare cases, emancipate dental fillings from tooth enamel and teeth. If you, got stuck if you, if you, uh, teeth. If you fell outside of the map, so I should be able to do this really quickly. Now. Very so good. I fall through, I come over you are here, now in possession of the I shoot, I get stuck, I save, I load, 
Then I shoot a portal down, With I come it, through, you can create I shoot a portal outside portals. the wall These here, These intradimensional I, gates have proven to I be completely I guess I didn't safe. need to come back in, device, but however, now I'm not. going to do peek portal and shoot a portal there. the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not- This time I'm going to load. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates okay, have so proven to, to be completely on that, safe. On that the device, however, has not. There we go. Do not Sit. touch the operational end of and the device. And I'll do peek a portal do up there. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. And what I do here, do not um, the device in liquid, we'll do another peek a portal, but I'll explain how this works. This is no one of the, the ways of being able to get back into the game. Um, uh, I guess it's called portal fall. Th portal fall through I don't really I don't we didn't really name it but um basically what happens is to be the game always wants to pull you back into the game it's 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 intention is to bring you back in um, this is much easier when you're falling through a portal it China it kind of clips you back into the game or yeah um, so what I do here is um, I have a portal here and I kind of pop through it I, I pop out of the game and I jump back up and um, the most usual way you'll see people doing this is put a, putting a portal here and I'll shoot, I'll try to fall through the portal and I'll shoot a portal forward, but since I'm not in a portal anymore, it'll, it'll tend to pull me back into the game because I was falling, so I'll just fall right back in the game. I'll show you this right now. Like that. Well done. So I shot Remember, a portal forward, the, the portal is still in the ceiling to work there. Day is the perfect time to have her tested. The portal is still in the ceiling there, and I just fell through because the game wanted to keep me pulling, pulling me with gravity back inside the level. Um, now I'm just going to do that a bit quicker. Um, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly now, at the operational end. The way that I do device. it here is I'm do using gravity. I pop I shoot down there. Oops. Most importantly, under no circumstances. I shoot down here and I use gravity. I pop up back through using, you know, the portal logic. And I shoot one up there so that it changes position and I fall back through. Like that. Well done. Remember the episode. Now there's another way of getting back and bounce the using the emancipation field. I'll explain that later. But um, the reason I didn't use it here is because right at this edge there is a trigger um, so that it opens the door. Otherwise, if you fall in here and you don't hit that trigger, um, 